family member that needs care? Do you have a family member that needs protection? Call us today at Heart to Heart Home Nursing Home, located in Portmore, Jamaica. We specialize in home care and we do everything nursing. Call 1-876-465-4063. That is Heart to Heart Nursing. Dr. Brown's Arthritis Remedy and Joint Oil Pain Relieves arthritis pain, muscle and joint pain, sciatica and foot pain and headaches and menstrual cramps and is also a great sleep aid. It's manufactured by Jamaican scientist Everton Brown PhD and is made with a blend of Jamaican herbs. We ship worldwide, jamsweet.com. You can make your purchases and start getting relief. Yo, get your strip. You know, it's a quote in this, a.k.a. Scantily Babas. Along with me, I drink them. Star King, I agree. Presents Trainer One Earth Day celebration. You know, the 30th of the month called March. You know, right at Poppy, you know, at Tavon Day. You know, right at the community center. Music by DJ Platinum, DJ Kelly. One Sky Views. You know, there's some coming to the one. The one that's wicked, the one that's a bad. You know, there's some coming. Admission free. Add it up now. We've been listening to you. We definitely been listening to you. So we. We've been listening to you. We definitely been listening to you. So we got to do this just for you. It's Painter's Record presents the man himself, Redeem, talking about one of the badass, one of the best uprising artists right now. Keys for the Cage Mind with songs like Deception. Peculiar people. Every morning when we rise up, down at the river, will I swim? If you do not have no river, find yourself down at the spring. And you hear no one fit all before you. And a brand new single. This one's called This Is Too Redeem Much. Say no more, this too much. Hey, redeem say no more, this too much. Poverty lie in the long vent till you walk. We garrison the area, them one fix up. Talking about Redeem, one of the fastest rising artists right now. Hey, you can find him on all. All social media platform IG, Facebook, TikTok, it's Redeem Official. Or look him up right here on YouTube. It's Redeem Official Vivo. Hey, talking about good music, talking about authentic music, it's right here. It's Redeem. It's a pain house production. Why you want wipe us from Jaja Earth? But for whatever lies were earth. Hey, Babylon, I have seen you were earth. Babylon, we see your dirty earth. Babylon, redeem, still see you were earth. Who no say, who no disease, affect a young baby, affect pregnant woman and the elderly. People pause a minute and listen to me. This was well thought of and planned carefully. When you kill a baby, there is... A blessed night, Jamaica. A blessed night to Jamaica. A blessed night to you all. I'm here on the studios. Getting ready to do the show tonight. I know a lot of you are wondering, will teacher be here tomorrow and Monday? I'm not sure myself if I'll be here. If I'm here, I'm here. If I'm not here, I'm not here. I'm hoping to be here tomorrow night and the rest of the time. I'm hoping to be here to make up because, you know, on a Friday night, we normally have our steamy discussions. But I'm here tonight. A lot of people should be coming on. I know a lot of people are there uh, putting their last frying's together a lot of people frying fish tonight and making escovitch a lot of people frying fish tonight and making escovitch um 
One of my friends soon carry some from Old Harbor for me. One of my friends says she going carry some fish from Old Harbor for me. So I must look out. So if you want to see, I take a break tonight, Jamaica. I know some fish come from Old Harbor. Well, fried and seasoned and things for me. It's a friend from long time, man. So no am not watching the thing say. A new friend where I come give me things. Long time friend, man. She always look out for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm here tonight once more. Last night, I know that a lot of you all got heated when that man called in a boat. When that man, is where I'm calling boat again? Boat, boat, the archer funeral home and a defend. Yeah, a defend. And, and, and I said to myself, I had to get a panel of guests tonight. On the same, on a love me turtle neck. Enough clothes me having a student. Enough clothes. That's why them bad mind me. I don't normally repeat the clothes then. But me love the, yes, you're my turtle neck unique. If you don't want me, look out for me. Send me some of them nice clothes here, man. Not nice. Me want more nice clothes for nice clothes. Because when me die around the world soon. Because I declare that this vice will be around the world soon, you know. Me not de Jamaica too long. Me not too sure of Donna Thompson. Me not too sure. But when God favor and bless you, you have to talk about favor and blessings, don't it? So I want to, when me go all over the world and the Pame Island, the All Island uh, International Tours, me need clothes. And you want to say thank you all for my, you, we have stopped count. We are 30,000 subscribers now, right? So look like every month we get 10,000 subscribers. Look like every month we get 10,000 subscribers. So I may look towards April for another 10,000 subscribers, right? Well, look towards April for another 10,000 subscribers. Reasonable? Mm -hmm. So we're going to work towards the month of April to gather another 10,000, possibly 12,000 subscribers. Let us reach the road to 40,000 subscribers, don't it? Mm hmm One more teacher has died, Jamaica. Wow. One more teacher is dead. See her there? Miss Cadian Woodcock. One more teacher is dead, Jamaica. Can you believe that? Miss Cadian Woodcock. I gather Jamaica that she's pretty young, wouldn't you say? 1977 to 2024. How much years that? Almost 50 years old, don't it? In St. Thomas, she was a teacher at the licensed primary school. 47, 46, near about. But she died Jamaica. I did my investigations and they're saying that, oh, Nino and Lou, big up on the cell, subscribe to Nino and Lou YouTube channel, Jamaica. Subscribe to Nino and Lou YouTube channel, all right? Nina and Lou, them, them is a couple where do them YouTube channel. Subscribe to Nina and Lou YouTube channel. Anybody else have YouTube channel and want me shout out? Wanna send me a message and let me know, all right? But Nina and Lou YouTube channel. So this teacher now, Jamaica, I gather that she has cancer or had cancer. 
I gather that say that she had cancer, Jamaica. So she's no longer with us. I not even know what kind of cancer she died from. But see them start setting up them YouTube channel. Russian Wally. Russian Wally YouTube channel. Subscribe to that one as well. All right. Russian Wally YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But I gather Jamaica that she had cancer. She had cancer, so she's no longer with us. Remember this week, the teacher at Half a Tree Primary School, he caught a stroke and five days after he died. There's a lot of teachers dying in Jamaica. There's a lot of teachers dying. And they have underlying sicknesses, if it's not diabetes, it's cancer or some other non-communicable diseases yes so miss woodcock is no longer with us let us send our condolences to miss woodcock let us send our condolences to miss woodcock tonight mama janet was to be here to do the holy thursday prayers but Mama Janet is asking you all to pray for her, too. She's not doing so well. Uh, she has an abscess on one of her tooth, so she cannot talk that well. Yeah, man, she can't talk that well. So she's asking you all to keep her in your prayers. And as soon as she does the extraction, she says she's here every night. She in there to comment, you know. So Mama Janet said to tell you, you know, all she's here. She's here every night. And she said to tell you all she'll be with you guys soon. All right? So for those who are expecting the prayers, boy, we really miss the prayers. But the prayers soon come back to you all, all right? The people are saying no sound. The sound is here, man. You might prop, you just have to flick out and flick him back. Sound is here. Mm -hmm. Sound is here. So keep Mama Janet in your prayers. And Mama Janet will be well back to soon. You know what I want to say tonight? Bless up to the, the students on the Zell. I have back my zelly, you know, so anybody who want to bless me, I have zell and I have the cash up. So, A-T, bless up yourself. S-W-A, bless up yourself. N-H, bless up yourself. I-S, bless up yourself. J-M, bless up yourself. J-H, bless up yourself. And N-G, bless up yourself. A lot of people lost confidence in the Zell, but it comes to me, man. It comes directly to my account now. So you might see Tamara Liburn on it. So Tamara collects the funds for me, and I appreciate knowing that she's an honest human being and make sure. Thank you, blessed in abundance, for the super chat. And the super chat works. And if you want to support in any way, shape, or form, I am, um, by the next two weeks, I want to acquire a new camera and some lightings. So I'm working on some camera, a new camera and lighting. So if you want to support me on my new camera and lightings, you can let me know. Send a message, send a super chat, send something because, you know, you want to make sure that the studio belongs to the studio. So we're working on getting the studio everything that it needs for its own purposes. So that eventually I can do my outside broadcast. What else we can do when we have them something? Rent the studio. Um, so if anybody, I want to set up in here full-time to be a full-time studio. So if anybody wants to do a studio hour or so, 
you will be able in another coming two or three months to be able to come here and do your own podcast. And so I'm really working to make it like that. So if you want to support me in getting my camera and some other equipment, some of them are expensive. So I'm investing in them myself. So what I'm doing is using my little YouTube dividends and buy my little things then. But you know them expensive. So if anybody out there may need a mix up, where's something that I mix? May I get one? Me, I get one mixer, you know, but so anybody where I come, there's somebody who promised me a mixer. If anybody coming down, you can let me know so I can sort out the mixer. Um, I need a little mic, then I want to invest in a one, four or three mics. A few little things I want to invest in, man. So if you want to be a part of that investment to make partner draw a TV bigger and better, let me know. Is that reasonable? No, Jacqueline Thomas, you're a labor right. You can't come in my studio. I have to put the restaurant on a pause for a while. Because the truth be told, I'm not getting much support for the restaurant. So I said, let me take my time and bill it out. It will take probably a year in before the restaurant comes together. Yeah, but I'm taking my time to do my thing. Reasonable? Yeah, man, I'm taking my time to do. No. It's not a case where I can do it. It, it takes a, one only for something in a student. And I don't have that only for capital to inject right now. So I'm taking my little time. The GoFundMe is there. The GoFundMe is there, students. The GoFundMe is there. Um, but as you know, not much people put in it, but if you want to put in it, may I take my little time? All of the funds are there. Um, but if you want to take the little time to help me, you can help me. One one cocoa full basket, don't it? One one cocoa full basket. Me not rush nothing, but me just I take my time, students, for reach there. Is where anti with current sentiment. You know? Hello, good night. Your channel freeze? No, my channel don't freeze. You have to probably sign yeah, so, so, Sign I in and sign up. Nothing at all. You just bend your head. All right. Yeah, man. Mm. And I just want to say I, I, I thank you to all my students near and far. You see, all if it's just a little watch your watch the TV. Our share your share. We appreciate you. Many times I don't don't send the appreciation. But tonight, let me send the appreciation. All to my team. My team that sometimes me and them can agree. But you don't know, say Andre naturally miserable. But them not used to me yet. Them soon get used to me. I only Courtney know me. Big up yourself, Courtney. I remember say Courtney dancer keep sat there a Saturday, don't it? So if anybody want to buy a liquor for Courtney or support him bar, send a message to me now. I want to give him one ten thousand dollars towards him bar. Yeah, man. I not go to the party, but I want to send at least one ten thousand dollars for him bar. So if anyone now no want to help me make up the money for Sheldon Courtney bar, I will let you and give. No, one ten thousand I can't do a little thing. Yeah. In a one bar. Mm. Much appreciated. Yeah, so may I take my time. So Courtney Bert um birthday party. I sat there. Me not go them something there. Courtney now go get the um care me this I him have to focus for making him look money in a bar and so forth. Mama sure I did in a bar. Yeah, she have she had the money. Yeah, Mama sure go there in the bar. That makes sense. But me gear, if you mean a gear, sat them again at the week, so you know, say so you have your bar money. Put them. Yes, students, you have to support your friends and your support. Anybody else who I keep, no, no, can't make me know. If you know, I keep on a party or no, this and no, you can't send me the flyers and I will post it in at the show. You understand? And you remember, you can do your advertisements with us. We still have the promotion going. Send me the advertisements and let us keep it growing and going. All right. Thank you, Nino. Hello. 
Thank you, Nino and Lo. Yeah, man, keep it going and growing. Yes, students, we appreciate all of the help that I can get from those near and far. Thank you again, blessed in abundance. And you can continue to bless up the super chat as the night goes on and keep the show going and growing. Make sense? If it makes sense, say yes. I, I remember to send out on the birthdays to the WhatsApp 214761. Come and sure enough people breed up and uh, uh, in at them time now. Yes, man. Uno must send on a birthday request so we can put it up. So how was so everybody but I'm going to the supermarket today, but I never have one little bun me buy. I never buy a big bun. Like yes, man. Me like me tell you, say me love this something the bun. The, of course, me say, but I never buy the big bun. Me buy the small one, one not the round one. Go in my cupboard, you see. Let me show them the bun. Me buy. Look on the top shelf, you see the bun. Thank you, Denny Simmons. Bless you. Yes, students, continue to send up the super chat. Tonight, me I go have a little town hall meeting. Thank you, Mama Jean. God bless you. Send up the $50 them. Yes. Is who this I call me now? Hello. Good night. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Laz. When it comes. Yes? Happy Easter, NJ, when it comes. Happy Easter to you, my beloved. Happy Easter to you. Mm. Too much at the bun. Remember that you have diabetes. No, that's why I buy a small one. I never buy a big one. I buy a very small bun. You're going to show no. Yeah, man. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. You know what me eating at Easter if it open taste this cheese, Jesus. Oh yeah, my. man, it's the hardest thing, it's the worst thing ever at taste this cheese. I don't like it. They must can't find a way for it. Don't it quote me the taste this cheese? It's the hardest thing for it open. Say students, we tell us there's a little spice bun me buy. Me not buy no big bun. One little spice bun me buy. Me love that bunny, I see. It just fluffy and nice. Don't it? Me love that bunny. HTV, you get on. Me not like HTV bunny, too dry. Who like it? Me not like HTV bunny, too dry. Go back, back side, that HTV. <laughs> hey! Me not like the big HTV bun. <coughs> me love them one, they're the small one, the big HTV bun, them too dry. You see, I feel moist and nice. Leave me alone, Courtney and I get none. Courtney and I get none of my bun. I want me away with pan of the two the little fish them. I eat me and wash my belly pan. One of my friends, I carry some fish, come give me. No, me not eat no sprat. The sprat that me see one man out of St. Thomas, full in boat, a sprat, and everybody come get a two and three pound. If me don't know how go and see go get so much sprat. Look like at them time I hear sprat come out. Look, yeah, man. And me I said to myself, say the sprat them not, the, the sprat them fluffy and fat, you know. Me love sprat. Yeah, you know that quote, the kind of time I go up on road. You have all little place long and never know so fry the sprat them. All when you use the electric can opener, there's something hard to pull. There's something that cheese. You have to knock it and chuck it. And I don't like it, man. Taste is must find a different way if you open the cheese. Them need to pop it up. We <coughs> don't know why, them, why taste is do this to we are here. Pop it up and... Me hear that person. Yes, hello. Yes, Andrew, you know, the bun and fish nice. But me don't really like eating bun and fish. Sweet and salt, no nice. That are too much. The bun and fish nice. Me not eat the bun and fish, but me we eat sprat and bread. Okay, we love the bun and fish. Tomorrow, me go see if we can steam two fish with two crackers. Mm -hmm. Me have two yellow tail snapper. Then me go see if we can steam it tomorrow. That nice. Steam two yellow tail snapper with pumpkin and okra and Irish potato. Oh, that nice. With me, with me no, me fish noodle. Don't cook me. And if me can cook it, me send it down and Mama share make she cook it for me. Uh, yeah, me I me cook up me nice little lady. Me say I make sure cook it for me. Mm. All right. Mm. Yes. 
Enjoy your day tomorrow. All right, my boy, no, no, no. Me say last year, Courtney, them t- as, me, since day me I tell Sasha say, boy, I'm depressed. Last year, them time here, you know, me go a price, ma, go call mama, hey, daddy tell me, say she depressed, and me and she that talk in a confidence about something. And she says she now wants to open the house. And you know, I say, me go a price, ma, and buy up one whole heap of something for the one cook out. And I write under the, the little jerk pan, yeah, me do jerk chicken, me do fried fish, me do roast fish, me do shrimp pasta, me roast sweet potato, me do corn and the cob. One only of things me do. And she sit down the old, and she did feel so good now, come and get some of my friends them from Waterport to come over. Sashi, where's the come? Sakara, mommy, um, queen, did come. Quite a few people come, man. Quite a few people come. And I said to myself, said Courtney, me could enjoy myself. I see. We did it till in the night. She said she will go home. Me pack her up with food again, you know. Mm-hmm. She not for eat shrimp. And she yam the shrimp them and then use the istas. I mean, I saw in her istal. She drink the istal because it's she really allergic to the shellfish. Why the wicked man take with my mother? I have my mother fe enjoy my Easter with Lord Jesus. But I look pan our picture uh, tonight. I go look pan our picture. You know the picture they in my room. My mother, you know, me love my beloved mother. It's a wicked at Jamaica. The 5th of August. The 5th of August 2023. My life has changed for. I don't know if the worse or the better. <coughs> But it took a toll on me and still do. Sometimes I don't get over the fact that she's not here. Blessed woman, you know. Precious woman. But I remember mama. I saw the song say, I remember mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So may I take my time build up back myself with my mother. Auntie. You understand? It really up, man. It really up because some things when me and the lady they talk about, me and nobody else not talk about it. You understand, Courtney? Me and nobody else not have the confidence. That, that confidence that when me talk to them, man. Me not think me I gonna ever find that next person they fee. And not things me and she got through you know? La, Well, Courtney, no. It, see that she get. Mama share phone, don't it? I saw she stay every... Look, I'm my ex-business partner. Look how much things him get out of <laughs> You know me shut my mouth before me start um talk over you. Your man should look out for people. She look out for people. I know, I'm going to tell you this. You see, if she did that wrong, I could have even a phone card to give away from the show, you know, because she would have given me some... I saw she look out. She, you know what, when she get the phone card them from Digicel? Are you used to get the phone card them now? That one day over there, so. I will Mr. Marsh, I call me about. Yes, Mr. Marsh. And, uh, yes, night. daddy. You know, you know, you hear me from with you much. One Let to you. Pick up, a, pick up a virus and the throat. The virus so. and the throat, so where take feed? Ah, uh, me just say use time. Time going to take care of it. It's, it's getting it's getting much better now. No, but, but you should I get some eucalyptus or something for your throat, Mr. Marsh. Well, we can we can try something for true. Take the but, eucalyptus three times per your lip. Yeah. 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 Take the eucalyptus three times per your lip and you should be yeah. good. Maybe yes, really need to do something, but <coughs> you know what it's in. <coughs> no, Mr. Marsh, you sound really you know, bad. Yes, you know what it's not a big that you have a rule. Huh? <coughs> you know what it's not a big guy between you know, car, you know. I don't hear, Mr. But, Marsh. <coughs> I know it's going to be difficult, but you know what it's not a big guy, you know, car, you know, you know, where um, Mrs. Bramwell are going with. Oh, and me, me, Mrs. Is, Bramwell, what we are going to have a discussion tonight? Yes, me and the one who town all meeting. Yes, when, you hear, when I hear you talk about 
the 8th of August with your mother. Yes. I mean the 5th. <coughs> it's the 8th of August from my wife. Kamla. And uh, the memory licked me too, you mm. know? The memory licked me. Me know because you know your understand. precious wife not about again. Yes, yes, yes. But remember, but yeah, yeah. you got to take the eucalyptus and clear up your yes, throat. Yes, but I'm not going to do something. Take it easy here. Yeah. All right, Mr. Yeah. Marsh, God bless you. Good, good. Yes, tonight, Jamaica, back by popular demand. Mu are showing you something, you know. Somebody send me one picture. Look where them, <laughs> look where them get on a tax surface for the, you see the picture when me say with the quarter bun? One picture with the cheese and the quarter bun. And you probably wonder what me I do with the quarter bun. Look where them get on at the work as them on a tax surface. Quarter bun for share for four people. Quarter bun. Lord Jesus. And when me talk, them send me, oh, me find out the information. The people them send me, the, look there. Look what them send give the people then. Wrap up in a file paper and piece of cheese. cheese. One peg of you remember when I asked me what is a peg of cheese? Look there. there. That a half a peg of cheese. And that the people them don't attack that mean get for them for them Easter. The pe and more than three people said it and Marvin can confirm it. Mm. That them give that Nigel Clark give the people them. Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh Jesus. Imagine Colleen Marvin and Kamla there for me because this is serious. <laughs> Marvin and Kamla. Oi. Kamla was one. All <laughs> right. The mango. Hi, what's up? The mango there, yeah. The mango there, boy. Two popular TikTok academia. Marvin, Little Fire, and Right Manga, Kamla Fox. <laughs> Welcome to Partner Draw TV. Thank you. Right. Andre, you set me up. <laughs> no, me not set you up. Me just give you a new lady in your life. Uh, and I'm very, I'm very happy. <laughs> Thank you. Be a pass the test to Marvin. Yeah, forgot to be a comrade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so a fast smile come off of my face. Yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> but seriously, oh, God. Yeah. I got this, Marvin, you never get this message about the bun and the peg of cheese. As a matter of fact, my neighbor sent that to me. We don't need to grow on We don't need to beat on it. Me get it. My neighbor sent it to me. And I understand that it's an upgrade. I will say that again. When what you is an upgrade? It was actually one bun shared for among four persons, quarter bun each. Here we go. On. And it, that's an upgrade from what it used to be because it used to be a sandwich. A sandwich. <laughs> Marvin, are you with me? And I know me. The lady, the lady was so embarrassed to be such a worker. As a matter of fact, <laughs> she watch her. Can me tell? No, Tappy, come listen to me. <laughs> hey, right, man, but leave it alone. All I can tell you, she works with the government of Jamaica, and this was shared among the staff. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was so shared staff, among the staff. The to everybody, the politician, them staff, and, work, and, work, it's, and it's and it's it's an Why upgrade. You're, you're a I was wondering if the politician them stop walk up and down and give out bun and cheese. Them giving it man, but probably them not have it in a good portion, so them have to eat small. Enough bun no be a kid. Listen to me. We need to stop. We need to stop making this seem as if it's a joke in the country. These are some serious, are some serious stuff we're going through. And um, we have all been seeing the news articles. Um, Andre, I'm not sure if you spoke about uh, the situation over by the police camp. Not sure I didn't I, log on last night. I, I, I'm going to read what happened. Okay. 
Yes, and then we can continue because the both of them come hand in hand with that disrespect there and what those gentlemen are and women at at Twickenham Park is now facing. And the, yeah, the, yeah. the entire world needs to know. Wait, not Marvin, somebody said, nobody try to prep the program. I know you have no problem. <laughs> I mean, I know. <laughs> they said that she got plenty. The lady get plenty bun because in a government is 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 a slice of bun them really get and a piece of cheese. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it's an upgrade. That's what they argument is. It, it, it's an upgrade. <laughs> they could have bought every member member staff one of these. Yes. Don't yes. Yeah. One of these small buns could have been bought. And give them the little quarter, the little tasty cheese in the peg. Mm -hmm. Or, but, I, me, I believe in go harder, go woman. It's better if you if you don't have it to give. Just I'm not hearing camera. You're not hearing, 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 hearing me. No, you have to talk. Up. Are, are you hearing me now? What you're using? We're not hearing you. All right, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna exit this, and I'm going to go in on, on my my laptop now because i'm on my all right go to that make my bins go and talk in the meantime all right um andre we cannot sit back and take certain disrespect the lady said them them even send it something to her you know you know wrap up in a piece of file paper mm. the present the presentation and the packaging of something that is coming from the government of jamaica this is not a friend or your boss at work can only afford two buns and say, you know what, may, may, may go on a piece of bun. People can appreciate it. You're expecting something from the government. This this is coming from the government of Jamaica. It would have been better if they had just sent some postcards and said season's greetings. Happy the Easter. Can't, the can't give nobody that cup up in a fire paper. Hey, take it. But it goes mm -hmm. to show you the caliber people that we're, we're, we're dealing with. You think that the government of Jamaica send that mm. kind of service to their friends? Yeah. Eh? The time that they spend, the time when the government of Jamaica spend over three, over how much, how much, thousands and millions of dollars, a PFA building that is unoccupied. A PFA yeah. building that is unoccupied. You then take that money there and treat the, the, the civil servants will turn up every day and attack and attack the, 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 because they are the face of the government. Our yeah. then the people that we go cost. We don't see the Andrew Wallaces and we don't see the, 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 the uh, criminal one. Yeah, the other one. We, that, you, Rigel, we don't see them. Yeah. Right? The people in the tax offices, the people in the N in a NHD or uh, uh, NIS or uh, whatever, those people are the face of the government and them take a disrespect from the public. And on a day or on a weekend or a holiday season, like it's a holy weekend, oh my God. It's a it's a it's a weekend where we talk about God and God's goodness. Uh, they, well, they literally I break bread. I, I really last supper. I really, I really break them. I break the bread. I must say last supper. That's a last but supper. It is a, it's a disrespect, gross disrespect, and to and to also learn that it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. That's gonna get quite a because it's huge and heavy and a sandwich, a sandwich. Oh my God, Marvin, stop. No, no, Marvin. it's serious. Stop laugh off of the people then. Sorry. Because I'm sure no say up Jamaica wouldn't give them no better. We would probably not if we can't afford it, we need to go do it. True. True be but told. Probably, probably government of Jamaica can't afford it. Oh, could you say that? Did you listen to the budget? Did you listen to the budget that the Prime Minister made? Eh? How we embarrassed um um mr mr golden to say huh, they don't even understand how we do it them don't even understand how is it we can do all these things and still don't impose any new taxes it, they, they can't follow it huh? and they beat decks and laugh and make a mockery you know why you know why you know why we can't know you know why we can't know just like on to put gag order on to put gag order upon it you report them on the table or oh, that's why we can't know because everything we're not do is very shady 
Very, very shady. And when you trust you know, the country have a right to know how you're going to do this. You come out and you say, um, effective, whatever, whatever. No more guarantor, no more guarantor. All right, it's all good, it's all good. But let me tell you something. Nobody going to give you a loan unless there's security. I mean, I ask that. Mm -hmm. So nobody thinks a student loan is going to take up how much, how much loan and give thousands of Jamaican students and people say, see that? For the first, this is a good promise. Somebody will have to pay for it. Somebody will have to pay for it. But since this government have so much money and have so much plans, we can't wait for Andre get into the real topic tonight. Because I said, I have something for you tonight. Watch me, you know. I have something for you know. Marvin, Prosperity. Marvin. Oh, you mean when I have to Andre, I can't say Andre, he's sitting there, man. I don't mean, I mean, I know, I mean, I want to trouble your program, you know, but yeah, you know what I have to talk about. Drop it, man. I... Hmm? Hi, I'm not hearing my my. I'm going to fix my audio, Jack. So give me a minute. Zebi, never mind. Zebi, never mind. We're hearing this can't work. You're not here. We were hearing her, but I guess we never realized. Mm. <laughs> you mm. hearing us now? Come, yes, like yes, I'm hearing. You hearing me? Yes. Yes. All right, perfect. So Jamaica. I'm not sure if you saw I posted something yesterday that somebody anonymously sent me on Instagram. No, I'm not even going to tell you the platform because I don't want them to go because I gather that them already take away every phone from the people in the batch searching their phones. This is what the person said. Hi, Andre. Hide my ID. I have to talk about the what's really what the, the about this. It's really depressing. Batch one five two been in training at Twickenham Park from the June the twenty fifth two thousand and twenty three, and we were sent home multiple times because they couldn't feed us. Now our graduation was March the fourteenth twenty twenty four, and we're still here confined. Still doing training and being treated like fresh recruits. Pure disrespect we have faced, like we don't live anywhere. Right now, we are sleeping under some very dirty tent in an inhumane condition. Not even electricity under the tent. Now we are told we have three more weeks of training. Andre, help us to get to the commissioner of police. We want to go home. Is this Marvin, the new match? Yeah, the new batch, 152. I said, All the yeah. people them train and can go there. Yeah. I said, left today, when I was trying to reach home to get on this program, I saw I said, leaving out. I don't know if it's the same set, but I said, left today. Yes, because what happened is that because that went out, they started to search the phones of the individuals today to say they want to find the culprit who sent Send the message to andre stevens mm -hmm. because the culprit will not be amongst those to go out and i was like wow but luckily they never know it's not one or two it's about six people send the message you understand because i've been informed about this from last week that the people under the dirty tent Marvin, where you here? Cause you are, you are always close to the police then. <laughs> Andre, yo, 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 yeah, so we have to set me up. <laughs> uh, listen to me, you know, you see no more. But on a serious note, um, the police officers here in Jamaica, we know so we have some very good police and we, we have some dirty police. True. We know this. Yeah. And it doesn't matter the sector of Jamaica, you have good and bad. Right, mm -hmm. and I lift my hats off tonight. I salute all the good, the good police men and women in Jamaica who sacrifice them time, them effort, just so that we, the regular citizens, them do them best to that keep them safe and whatever. The the very few who who we can talk about, right? And them know themselves, good police that Jamaica. But let me tell you something: when you have a situation where police officers, when a graduate, 
where, where just a graduate not even touch road yet is in a depressive state and i'm not mm. joking that in a bedroom if your police reach out the police officers reach out to an influencer begging for you to reach the commissioner of police to help them out of an inhumane situation and a joke thing that you know and what we're missing in that art in that um message that you read is the fact that them send home the people them last year because they don't have enough food to feed them and that's the part me why you get to mm. when did we reach such a stage in prosperity that mm. police in training police in training had to be sent home we know no food i know we influencers are make up this we i know we i know i know we are making up people in the country trust we to carry them the information that to the public because them them are losing little work and you know what and, and, and the, 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 the main, mainstream media is the worst in this country they do not have they do not do investigative journalism. They're not do the same thing there. They're not, they not investigate nothing. They, as a matter of fact, anything I realize in this country, I'm telling you, I'm not going to start putting them from blast, you know, because the, 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 the mainstream media need to understand, say, and not just the opposition alone in our country, where, where we only need to always hear what the opposition say. Opposition is relative. I'm coming, I'm not talking about you. I'm not trouble your, your party. But at the end of the day, um, you have the Marcus Garvey movement, which is recognized. You have UIC that is registered. You have um, the NDM, where everybody knows since 28 years. And these these are active movements of Jamaica. Why well, don't call your actual opinion upon something? One of the things that we don't have nothing to say. But only constantly, I should be two party in the Jamaican people and face as if independence or matter. And I don't wish to stray from the topic, but our civil servants in Jamaica have been constantly being disrespected and abused, and not and not get no justice in the foot soldier. They not get no money, so that is why senior cops can want to search their phone and, and and talk to the people in some kind of way. We need to have a country where ordinary police, ordinary nurse, ordinary firemen can come out and and express themselves without being reprimanded, fired, or or like the one with the alpha tree center. Then demote the man. He was demoted because him got him. I don't think uh -huh. that fireman is working. That fireman came back in the force. He went back in. He was demoted. He was demoted. There you go. But he, I think he tried to appeal it. I'm not sure of what is happening. But you know, it's so, so is he back on the job? I think he went back on the. I'm, I'm not sure if he's back on the job, but he had attempted to go back on the job. If Disciplinary I actions were taken against him, and he was demoted. But I, I, he was not fired because they might try to play the thing. Um, right, Mango, you know that. They might try to play it. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to look bad to so then fire him. Because the truth is they were embarrassed. They were embarrassed. And it's sad to know that we have to have our civil servants and literally do some crazy things in order to get the attention of the public that we are not, we are not being treated properly. Me, go over a mere pen, the mere pen fire station. And I mean, I can't know him, but me a fireman over there. So we say, yo, dog, me need to give us some information because you need to see the condition when we are got to over here. So and people think so we are make up them thing. Yeah. It know how nothing to do with PMP. It has nothing to do with JLP. It has nothing to do with independent. It has everything to do with the rights of a Jamaican citizen. People cannot be living and working in certain inhuman conditions. And we want better liberty for the people, them. And the government of Jamaica constantly compile national TV in a budget debate and all kind of stuff and, and propose to the Jamaican people uh, something that, that you wonder, oh, what do matter about? I see in Jamaica what we live in. A, because the, the, I keep telling people, I told Jamaica there, you know, to Jamaica. If you want to see Jamaica, you go on the outskirts of Jamaica, right? That is the rich. We have a place where them take care of good road, nice people, clean water. And then when you want to see the next Jamaica, come in and make like Jamaica. Come in, I'm in Jamaica, and you will find Jamaica. You know much, you know much labor right call me. You know much PMP call me labor right. You one of them always call me. Why? Because I'm neutral. And them say, yo, look what I go on. 
When PMP was in power, the PMP government was accused and said, boy, you know, I do say you know that. No, we've we vote in the Labour, right? They must say, all right, we could give them a chance because PMP feel we. Time and time again, we keep flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping. And now we have seen it. The Jamaican Labour Party, and then to have people eight years into government, I go tell them, we say, we not say nothing because PMP got 18 years. Every time I hear that stupid reasoning, it annoys me. A uno in a government, a uno tell we say, when uno go in, uno go make it better. There are communities. What's what JLP community when I had no water, no, I no light. I did that video from last year, January. I know me no pussy. I know me no pussy. For last year, January, me interview people. All the house green in the community there. No water. And they do not have a flush toilet. A, a black train toilet the people they have in a 2024. Okay. And it's okay, not just that community. Black train. We don't have to put it in a latrine. Country people know how we are talking about. And now let me tell you something. Now they set up them something that, that really come up in them. Andre, Andre, it's it's because we're not, we're not paint the pictures that we're supposed to paint it. This is not us trying to make the situation look worse than it actually is. When you stop and you look at elderly people, elderly, if you walk with buckle, to go down the four tank where these politicians put up on a platform to the people and catch water and a push wheelbarrow in a 2024. No road. You hear me tell you no? You think a little situation them, them people are going to the governance that we have though, you know. We deserve the governance that we get. We believe so too. God them vote them in tell you why. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because you have one set of people that are die hearted. And another set of people that totally tap out of the electoral of, of governance. You understand? So you have one set of people where no matter what, they will only support their party, the good, the bad, or the ugly. So yes. everything yes. we're going on with the government, them don't care. Them still go and support them. Mm -hmm. And then you have another people who refuse to engage in the process and then complain. Jamaica is not the only country with a two-party system. But the problem with Jamaica is that we're not a mature de democracy. And a lot of us believe that to be a mature democracy means that you should just um, be like an ostrich and bury your head and stay out of the process. Mm. When really and truly being a mature, you see, Marvin, a while ago, you said that you change it. There's nothing wrong with changing. If the party fails, you change them every four years. America do it, you know. America sure, do it. Sure. Right? If the government is failing, you change them. And if the ones you elect failing you, change them again until they realize that we are a serious democracy that, and we are not bogged down by, by partisan politics and we're mature enough to vote based on issues. And guess what? That will wake them up. But right now, we is like we, we totally defeat the, pro, the, the, the purpose of democracy. And democracy, I don't, mm -hmm. we, we defeat it because democracy means that you're to exercise your right. Jamaican people think that if you are involved in politics, it's something to look down on. If there is nothing wrong with voting for, 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 for JLP and JLP failure, then you decide to vote for PNP. Who said there's something wrong with that? And if PNP vote fail you, and you feel that they're not achieving what you expect them to achieve, Vote them out and vote back in JLP and vice versa until the politicians understand that they are going to be held accountable. The reason why politicians are like this is because they can act with impunity because we are not, we're not, vote, we're not changing them, we're not holding them accountable. And that's the bottom line. I say it all the time. I might be a political activist, but you don't need to be a political activist. I want you are to turn to vote. You understand me? I want to turn our attention today to the gruesome killing that happened at St. Mary's High School. Oh boy. You heard about it? I heard about it yeah, on the yeah. news. Yeah. A man was killed and four others were wounding in a shooting at the St. Mary's High School. Huh. You remember one time school was off limit? For but in church, no, Andre, nowhere is off limit. 
No, you, would, I, you I, never I would have killed somebody from that school. Oh. You remember? That no matter again. There is nowhere safe. So basically, four persons wounded. So basically, five people shot and one dead. Yeah. My God. But you see, Andre, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Jamaica is in a state now where there is nothing sacred. Right? <laughs> and these criminals don't care who gets hurt when they're doing what they're doing. You understand? They really don't care. They're no business. They're no business who gets shot when they're shooting. So they just do what they have to do. Right? Whatever this handsome young man did, I'm, I, I don't know. I was listening to the details on the news. And it was just, I can't, I mean, and then they, 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 they shot other people who were there for legitimate purposes on the school compound. So. And that's what I am saying, though. How they get to come on the school compound with gun? Security, now they are the school gate for check them. But Andre, on, a, on an earlier newscast, I heard that a, a man of unsound mind mm. attacked a school today and the children had to be in basically locked up, almost in a hostage situation. And this is, I don't know if you remember the school principal that was trapped by a madman la, um, last year or year before. You remember that case in Saint? Oh. I think it was Saint Elizabeth. Well, it's the same school, and it's the same madman. And the ministry. So at the time, back. Yes, he came back, and the ministry at the time promised them retaining um, basically perimeter fence and security. None of what um, which have been achieved. So you know what? You know what? The fear is a walk. Lord God, me no want to walk it. But we know, don't, we know, we know. But, you know, Andre Favel is also with MP, so we know she stay on both fronts. Yeah, Favel don't do nothing for my constituency. Me know. Try, try you remember know when you, try try remember the we are neighbors. Yeah, you know when Favel fix the road. The right before local government, government election. election. Two when weeks they are coming up, they are on the road food, sir. Two weeks before local government election, the road patch, Andre. And she never I mean, come around my side, come patch either. Mighty God. She must say, appear from Red Leaf round there. Marvin. Huh. Yes, Andre. Oh, yes, I'm silent. Come in, where you're bubbling now. Because. <laughs> Marvin, Andre. Take time, take time Marvin. Take time. I'm trying. And to be honest with you, I don't matter. I take time because you see, we have not reached a stage where we value our kids in this in this country. I said it on your last program, and I'm gonna be like a broken tape recorder every time people hear me. Mm. Say it again. I'm gonna say it again, Andre. We have 151 pitney were go missing from last, last year. year. I heard so, your video on that. And now no, the prime minister of come out of Jamaica and said no. The scan go on. And I want to ask some questions because people now connect the dots. And you see, because 12% of the population, according to Google, 12% are we illiterate, which amounts to 299,000 for the 2.4 million. Huh? For the 200. And... Them say, no, man, them say at 12% on Google. Well, and a full 12%, 11.99% because at 81, um, uh, 88.1. Them sell literate and, and the rest are will illiterate. And them did it, the count from 15 years and older. So that amounts to 2.4 million of the people. I mean, it must long time. And if you do 12%, you run to have to 12% and do it from 2.4 million. You yeah, will get 299,000 Jamaican illiterate, right? And then the people are constantly are voting, some of them people here. Because I am very surprised the kind of turnout that happened for the Jamaican Labour Party and for local government election to see the fact that up until today, we are still using taxpayer money to pay a bunch of criminals who gag order put on integrity commission mode and all kind of people. We can't know what a six criminal. Eh? But the lady and the man down so we then find we then chop up, chop up one cow and drive him in a car. Hmm? We don't have them face all over TV. I'm going to charge them eh, for what? Pretty last name. 
or uh, uh, whatever you call it, uh, 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 whatever. Oh, yeah, you lucky yeah, 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 yeah. they never kill them. Eh? You lucky they never yes. kill them. And, and everybody made it a big thing in Jamaica because, oh, this man and this woman chop and go and hold them to draw the big old cow with AK, my God. They're a thief. But when I hear none of them come out of contact, say, Andrew Wallace, a thief. Hello, hello, Andre, Andre, I'm going to tell you this because by law, they don't know how to come I mean, I'm going to go to school. Tell them the, fact, the fact that the integrity commission suspects six and nobody don't know who, the entire 63 is a suspect. The entire, the entire 63 is a suspect. Uh, Mark Ma Golden say, Mark Golden say, nobody the on film side. That's how I'm say, right? They are all and individually said it too. Not okay. Just mm -hmm. So, so, they say so, they have not been contacted. Me so, just yeah. want me new channel. Yeah. Me still yeah. talk about the whole parliament. get contact. You never see it. You know, he see put it. a gag order on his labor rights, so none of them eh? can come out and say. So, because so right now, come and clear them name. You know, if people come and clear them name, one one pan inside, then them go in all the sixes. So, yeah, so like that. It's it, like joke a country with a joke. As a matter of fact, you think you're not killing it? You think you're not killing it? And you think you're not saying Pitney? Go through no traumatic experience yet in a Jamaica. You think them experience no trauma yet? Never tell you again. I did see him, um, minister. I did see him, mi minister of national security. On the Google it, I him come out and say, There's almost 400 gangs in a Jamaica. I've said this before on the program. We say it every time, and not have said. And the man say, 298 of them is active. Oh, the nose of them active. Oh, the backside of the nose of them are active. Can eh? I say oh, something? Oh, oh, on the clan control crime. I don't have soldiers, I should, I should gun, I, sh I don't have soldiers and police, but on the SO, I should gun in a regular private citizen's car. Let me say something to sure. you now. Oh, oh, let me oh, ask sure. you this now. Suppose all of these gangs and criminals decide that they are going to become oh. organized and united. Oh. Suppose we have a situation oh. in Jamaica where we a man should out like barbecue over here. Oh. Oh, oh, I barbecue was shot today. Any hear anything like that? I haven't heard it. Oh. But suppose we end up with our very own barbecue out here. We can organize all the criminals. Oh. Oh. See Oh. So I'm going <laughs> to say something. That's a very good question. And whether you saw laugh and things are a joke. No, you but it can't can happen. <laughs> We're one disaster away from here. As, as, as a matter of fact, we are one inch away from that happening. One inch this thing because up. Me, I am not asking this you. Is my internet. Oh, we're hearing you, um, right, Mango? <laughs> we are one disaster away from Haiti. One disaster away from Haiti. Mm -hmm. mm. And and but look at what Bobby Manticure, Mr. Manticure, go get up. Me not to miss her. Manticure, get up in a parliament, and yes. you are gonna say that children that are charged with murder will hang them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not surprised by anything eh? that man says. And and Jamaica can act so that them on the resignation because what? Because Montague is considered the richest politician in the Caribbean. Or but didn't know. Something. Eh? Oh, man, something. Oh, Montague become the richest politician. Well, go on Google, go ask them because them no more than me and you. Probably them not no Gagada. Thank God for Google. Google not no Gagada. So Montague richer eh? than Andrew Wallace. Eh? Right, well, right now we look like tough than Richard and all of them because him have, him have, him have, wait, 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 this is attack on the fact that every single thing on a do on a no say wrong and a wicked look how Jamaicans are suffering. We tell you already so no contents. Sure. Them don't have no contents, you know. So this all of these things that we're printing. Break it, break it. There are allegations out there that one of Mr. Tupton's counselors is the one that has the contract to collect the dead bodies. They're from... not allegations. 
What do you mean allegations? Say it's true. true. Yes. Then Andre, then are you post it in front of a company's office? It's not an allegation. It's a pro. pro now you, now you post, post a registration from a company office. Hello. Eh? The man. You just, the just apply. It. The councillor of Red Hills Division is Michael Archer. Michael yes. Archer is also the principal director of Archer's Funeral Home and Services on Young Street in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Yes. Archer's Funeral Home also has, has the contract to collect the deceased from Spanish Town Hospital. They have recently acquired the contract from Kingston Public Hospital. They have the contract for Linstead Public Hospital. And they also now have you, you the sudden death contract. They have the sudden death. UE has its own mark. UE oh. has its own mark. They have the sudden death contract now, mm. where when police have to be called in because somebody died suddenly, wherever they did, and you know them have to call mark. We know yes. the tranquility normally have the one in Kingston. Yes. But no archers get the one for Saint Catherine. <clears throat> you understand? And them targeting Maypen too. Them oh, going hold on. Oh. Hold on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell Jamaica something. Yes, we pay a politician. We pay a politician. Fit they round the clock at the Jamaica business. We don't pay a politician. They have extra business. And there should be a conflict of interest. Iran. But it's not even just extra eh? business. It's that they are giving themselves contracts. That's the point. It's and not then, for a politician. Then, let us say, Marvin, let us say, for instance, you're I am a politician. I am also a lawyer with my own law firm. You have a couple of them, Delroy Chuck, for instance, even KD Knight, when them have them own business, law firm, separate and apart. But how yes. can you, as a as a minister of health, have your own business? It's like with a market meeting. Him have him own, him paying himself, giving himself contract. That's what he's doing. He's giving himself these contracts. And not only giving himself the contract, you know. Emma, no, no, think about this, Andre. Yes. If you know how KPA is set up and where it is, you know that there are set, there are quite a few funeral homes in its vicinity. In the in the environs. The environs. But not only the funeral homes, but you have it's an old industry of basically funeral industry car you have the man who make a casket them you have yeah. the people that will print the program them the people that will make the wreath the people that will sell the the, 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 the clothes where the people that must bury in yes. is an entire industry, industry. so when so these people depend on the funeral homes around kph getting the bodies from the hospital mm. i remember tranquility is there Right, Brown, and yeah. Browns, Jones, Morgans, whole heap of them. So sometimes it rotates who have the contract, but normally it's one of them, and it is very convenient for the people because if your relative was admitted in KPH in the first place, that means that is the the hospital that is most convenient to you. Yes, unless yes. the per you understand. So imagine now your 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 relative dies and they take the body from KPH now to Spanish Town. And store That's it. Major inconvenience. Because then you will now have to move that body from Spanish Town. But even in arranging the funeral for your relative, if you decide to leave the body at that funeral home because it's more convenient than move finding another funeral to home to move it to. Imagine now you are traversing daily to go to Spanish Town mm. and just to, to bury your deceased. You see how stupid it is, how it makes no sense. The logistics, I mean, the logistics is crazy and it's like unless somebody crazy. benefiting but that's the pro the point because they are benefiting they're not thinking about others and they have basically boxed the food out an entire industry in the whole vicinity so basically them killing an entire and segment. then there was an argument last year not sure if you heard about it where the funerals homes were complaining that the government of Jamaica was owing them lump sum of money. They won't pay them. They won't pay them. Right? When them do, I can tell you because I did some investigations on it. Yes. They owe them mil, million, tens of millions, some of them, <laughs> tens of millions of dollars. I can attest to that. They will not pay I them. I remember one thing about a hundred million the government owing. Thank you. And some of them is more. And it, but it's not just that. So it's 
this seems to be a problem with the ministry of health them don't like pay them bills it's not just funeral homes them who owe them owe supplier hospital supplier that's why the hospital don't have nothing right Re repeat people, that repeat that them all the suppliers so the people them will supply the medical supplies like gloves the ppes napkins all of those sundry items <laughs> alcohol the medication them I'll, let me tell you something you know i work in healthcare i still have all my, I still have all my clothes from work yes no when you're a healthcare professional you talk among yourselves even though i, I am get parent, information, I really to get to what information. and some of them now come public and talk because they are victimized you have doctors working in the hospitals now where after work with them walk with them own alcohol for put in insert brandy line a patient arm to put in drip what right? the hospital them don't have basic items like panadol oh now i had a, let me let me i'm going to break this down even more kph does not have stretchers in the a and e department i had a colleague of mine who Whoa. injured herself resuscitating a patient on the floor at kph a and e because there were no stretchers mighty god she injured herself right when you go into the k and k kph a and e there are no you know you normally have the bed them behind the cubicle them they not mm. have them they are not there that is how bad it is people don't understand what is going on and they find excuses and then they say oh it was the same during the 18 years now look at this young man who got burnt in the accident on the highway yes right yeah. and had no burn unit he took out himself you know and roll him do the right thing stop drop and roll i noticed right because yes. that's the yes. learning first aid he came yes. out the car he mm. stopped up and roll out the fire got up and walked conscious enough to get in the back of a vehicle to be transported to a hospital mm. started to decompensate had to be transferred to kph there are no there are no burns unit in jamaica let me tell you something i've been a healthcare <laughs> professional for 23 years this year mm. when i graduated there were burn units i worked at bustamante hospital where war three was an entire burn unit I worked at oh. university hospital where there was a war a burn unit behind ward five right so I worked burn at disappeared too. this is my point when i came out of the public sector totally in 2006 i left burn units there because i started i went private 2004 and juggled private public until 2006 when i just came out of the public health system and i left burn units there so it was quite my surprise to hear that there are no burn units in jamaica but i started hearing this about five years ago mm. but, we, but when i was in the system there were burn units people not talk about them something here and the thing about it is we have to be relying on burn units abroad in miami we have to be getting patients out and it's not all of the time they can accommodate us and this is what happened with this young man we couldn't find they they couldn't find a burn unit to accommodate him well and unfortunately he passed away as a result but why are we at the point where we have to be depending on the resources of foreign entities when we so-called have free health care here he died right of course he died he died listen to what somebody said listen to this what somebody just sent me andre my sister went to the port antonio hospital and she had a miscarriage and started to bleed the hospital did not have any pad to offer her they roll up hand towel give her and send her home mighty god and as i say to you the reason why there are no basic supplies in the hospital is because the suppliers are owed and they refuse to give the ministry anything else on consignment because if you don't pay me me not giving you nothing else for free it's common business they owe it's like them owe almost every single supplier because okay. imagine now andre you own one medical disposables business and marvin you own another one and mm. means the ministry and me come run up big bill with you and don't pay you some of go marvin 
And then when we run up, no, big I'm not to start business around with Christopher. And then we got somebody else, and I keep rotating. You know how many pharmaceutical companies pull out of Jamaica because of this ministry? My you know God, that does sound good. Because them owe the people them so much money, and they're not paying the bills. And what they're doing, padding them pockets. Andre, tell your producer to find a video with Christoph and we didn't tell the people them say. If they want water, then we take a vaccine. Cause people keep oh, forgetting. Oh, and what yes. kind of people they know we have in a parliament? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, keep, yeah. As a matter of fact, tell the mm. producer if they pull up the next one with Christopher Tufton, where him and his son are carrying dirty rice coming to Jamaica. Substandard they rice. Do. They still do. Still. Oh, no, like, oh, no, like, like, no, 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 you know what they call him in, in St. Elizabeth in the seat when they have the, can't remember saying it was MP in St. Elizabeth, you know? Yes, before them dash him. They thought was St. Elizabeth before him come. Them West dash him way down there. there. Them dash him way. They mm. used to call him Satan. Ask really? Christopher Tufton yes. with his 600 with his 600 and a billion dollars there. Ask Christopher Tufton with his 600 and a billion dollar there for health care. Ask that the Prime the Minister. Don't no, forget the 400 million when we get. 400 million in a COVID. COVID. Where is that? Yo, let me tell you something in Jamaica. Hey, they, okay. They okay. They okay. They okay. They I'm not something of a joke, you know. I'm not taking them something of a joke, you know. No, and the world country like still on things that things that country are run good enough. He is like things that country are run good enough. He's like Teflon Dan because he's at Mark, apparently a PR and marketing genius. So he gets away with these things. Everybody believes this man is innocent. And I mean, listen, I have, I listen, I, of course, me and Christoph Dan are no friends, you know. Everybody's supposed to know about my battles with Christoph Dan, you know. Really? Because I remember, what? say, during Dengue, I had to go knock heads against this man, and I went to war with Christoph Dan in 2019, you know. When I mm. hide the facts, there's so much baby at dead from dengue, you know. When me they are hospital, you know. And I see the picnic them, the sick picnic them, you know. And this man had the audacity to tell me that there is no dengue outbreak, you know. When every single baby on Ward 15 at University Hospital is dengue them have, you know. When my wow. three picnic them admit, my three picnic them admit one time with dengue, you know. And this man, listen, bust a man to full up. Listen, let me tell you, these people are evil. <clears throat> But what if you know about the baby them were dead? A couple of yeah, baby them were when I knew. Me not forget nothing, man. Me not forget nothing. Worry, me not forget nothing. Worry, what really caused those babies to have died? Uh, oh, oh. They, they, well, there, let me tell you something. It's because the place not getting cleaned properly. Jesus. In terms of, and you can't, listen, you cannot blame the workers. It's because they are no, not. No, the stuff stuff they they yeah. are not get first and foremost. It's not even one factor. They're not getting enough cleaning supplies because if you can't get alcohol, right? You can't get the basic clinic agents you need to clean the place. And then you're understaffed. You're not getting the correct personal protective equipment to wear, right? So mm. you're going to pass bacteria. Remember, you know, when you, when you have a special care nursery or a NICU, which is a neonatal ICU, the ratio between persons who work there, to look after baby, you're supposed to have a specific ratio. So you're not supposed to have more than based one nurse not supposed to be looking after more than two babies, for instance. Yes. Because not just for the, the manpower, but also the, the transfer of of, of pathogens. Yes, pathogens. Yes. So you don't want them to be passing the pathogens from the bacteria and the virus then between the, 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 the babies. And so when you don't keep that balance. You are putting the babies at risk, and obviously at because risk. they are premature, mm. they are premature. So they basically um, are exposed. They are already weak. They have no immune system. You understand? Thank you. You have a viewer saying that even sometimes water to wash them hands. Listen, the amount of time at KPH, and you know KPH and Victoria Jubilee are side by side. There is no mm. water at KPH. And I just mm. one and two times may get phone call with people telling me. That there is no water at KPH, no light. Sometimes the operating theater can't function. The whole healthcare system in Jamaica is a patty shop. We don't have any 
the supply the, the, the supply of the drugs you wonder how these so so many people dying of cancer for instance nowadays because mm. they have no access to chemotherapy drugs some of the drugs where you have access to 10 15 some of the, the cancer them whenever you used to kill people killing people now me have a so friend you're and you have... the, so you're saying that the drugs are not in the country for they're the not available. no they're not available right normally you would get assistance if you if you have certain types of cancer the government subsidizes these drugs yes the drugs them the pharmaceutical companies not getting the pay the, the government part of the money so them stop Might so you say that the nhc is crumbling yeah you mean the nhf the nhf the national health Fund. a lot of the drugs are no longer available they're not a lot of the drugs are no longer available. You yes. hear, you listen to the radio right. every day, you hear people complaining about the drugs they need for prostate cancer not being available, right? That is one of the drugs that shot. You hear them complaining about some of the medication where them use for, which other one is not, it's not like, um, colon cancer, not, 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 not a cancer. Um, is, is one of the Glock, one of the, one of, is one of the, the medication for the eyes. Where people have, I can't remember the condition. No cataract. longer is either cataract or glaucoma, but one of the drugs where they normally use and they get readily not yes. available. You have a high rate of drugs that they normally use that are no longer available for various conditions. So, what about the HIV victims? Oh, oh, I'm gonna bring that up. Me get one card the other day, now, Andre. I don't even tackle this yet. Yes, I don't even tackle the hiv drugs them yet no <laughs> and how we are no longer at a rate of zero mater maternal feet maternal fetal transmission remember we used to boast about how oh, there are no longer any cases of maternal fetal transmission meaning the mother passing aids on yes. today. we are no longer there we reached there from in the early 2000s we are no longer there so the mothers, them giving the children them the HIV yes, now again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want me get that. A healthcare worker called me last week and told me this. So what causing that? What they are trying to do, they, they, because they are no longer following up the patients. They don't, they no longer have the resources to track the HIV patients. And what is that going in the country? I just don't have the time to go in and do the research, you know, because you know, say we don't really have no investigative journalists here, as you were saying earlier. Because let me tell you why there are no longer investigative journalists here. The journalists are jockeying for government jobs because True. the government dangles the jobs over them, right? So if them play nice, they get a government job. They become a communications director of some statutory body, right? the government is who is giving these eight these at these um media houses the most revenue if you mm. I, I say it on my life every <laughs> night if you listen to the radio any radio station the most ads you will hear is from the government every but agent every ministry can you imagine you have ministry of of legal and constitutional affairs yes. advertising yes. you're hearing ads from national housing trust you're hearing ads from every single government agency every single ministry local government ministry everybody have ads on the radio so if so every every single media outlet is towing the line because <laughs> they they listen you you can't bite the hand we feed you he who pays the piper mm. cause the shots <laughs> so why would they want to rock the boat you wonder why we have no investigative journalists they don't need to investigate anything all them need for do is just be yes men to the government because it's either them get a big job or them get over. Contract. are some of, exactly on some of them programs when you hear some of these talk show hosts you have like so maybe, the, the government, government, government buy out Emily Shields program and then the buy out 15 minute segment you hear another government agency to Emily on a Friday. I used to listen to Emily to to, to be on and when, when I'm name RJR hotline religiously and I realized that Thursday and Fridays 
every segment of Emily's show is somebody sponsored. She have one whole half um fifth, half an hour where Ministry of Health sponsor every Friday. Yes. Right? And the, the, the minister is on PRing. And you hear him. People calling and say, oh, Mr. Minister, I've been trying to get this and that for, for, for how long and I'm not getting through. This is a problem where, let's say, 20,000 people face. But one yes. person calls in and then next week he runs back and reports. You remember Miss Jane that called in last week? We were able to guide her through the system and she mm. got through. And then Emily smiles and says, yes, we know that you're effective and you're working. But what about the other 20,000 people who have the same issue where Miss Jane did have? True. I find it so hilarious. It's like, seriously. But I, think, I, believe, I, I, I hear that them by your cool FM. They did. And it is no, the working now. The government owned. official radio station. The company. government always owned Cool FM, right? But they would normally use it for um the airport logistics people. Them, I can't remember what the agency. So the flights, you get the flight data on it. Yeah, you understand. But I think no, they have. I think they're gonna turn it into PBCJ Radio. No, PBCJ Radio. Yes. Yes. That's Next what they're gonna do. Get radio station for himself now. This is what they, they all intended. Them can keep a radio station. Them, them can keep all of them. Thank no, God for, no for bloggers. Thank you. No, yes. Thank God for Thank bloggers. You. Thank God for all the bloggers that are out there, the influencers. Thank God for Uno because I, I, yes, that's and this is why they want to shut it down. That's why they walk and tell tell people say me kill people because that they want to. Yeah, they want to shut oh, it no, down. What you talking about? Kill people. Right. I am a I'm a mortician and embalmer. I dress the dead. I fix people's body. I do all of these things all out of the blue. I hear I do all of these things. I specialize oh, in you were the one who them accused to have the been the, 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 you want me to say Jamaica. This was the lady who is Cliff you call your name. Yeah, I don't know if him call my name, but him said police was looking for me. Let me run go police station and the police them laugh me to scan. Yes, uh, remember Mel wow. Sylvia's death. Yes, man, Cliff, Cliff Hughes was a, a, a to say a book. Them it's a right person man, of bro. interest. Me need to write a book named Person of Interest. Cause them tell me say, but even on YouTube, you know, one whole heap of them have this thing. But me say, but oh, wait, no. Mister. But them they even know them do me a favor. Me say, Andre. My TikTok page jumped by ten thousand dollar, ten thousand, ten thousand more. Um, yes, follow at ten thousand. The whole time this was happening, cause people want to say who name so, who name so. So them do even know all so them. They, that, this was the infamous woman who they accused to say that. Me kill my friend. You were the the, the person there. Wow. Uh, wait, wait, wait. My uh, sister, uh, the story keeps first I pronounce her. Uh, First, my pronouncer, my, I, I was a pronouncer, and then when them realized, a boy, me's not a medical doctor, so me can't pronounce the story. Changed to M, to, to so, so me did fix our body, me diagnose her. All sorts of some. The story just keep on changing. Me just look on them and, my dear, who was saying this picture? If me not so, me, me tell you something. Some of them drunk right here don't even have two shillings for up together, oh, and it cost me more to sue them. So sometimes you can't even. You can't even, you don't even make no sense. Somebody wants you to speak, Marvin. Sandra asked Marvin. Sandra wants you to speak, Marvin. I want to ask a question. Um, yes. <laughs> Come on. We don't know who your personal interest. We're glad we don't come to this. I never know either. Hey, Jamaica, me a person that interest. Boy, I'll see me take that go up tonight. Me a person that interest. Marvin, on a serious yes. note, mm. I gather that your the, your beloved speaker that you love so, oh, is not you, lover, is Isaac. Sorry. Um, <laughs> your beloved speaker, the, the lady named Juliet Holness, came under serious public pressure to release the two reports. What's your take on this? <clears throat> Let me tell you something. I now nah stop saying it again. Uh. Andre, when I can't ask me that question, yeah. me Why? say, Jamaica, as a matter of fact, and um, right, Mango, you know, say me, I forgot to be objective. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and, and I mean no disrespect to your political affiliation. I must say That's that, fine. right? Because no, I respect no. I, I still believe that every Jamaican have the right to choose who they want to choose. All I am saying, had I sat in the position of Mark of Mark Mosiah Golden. Yeah, no, Mark if, <laughs> Mark Mosiah Golden. If we did sit down in a for him position, yes, I would not have my MPs come to that parliament until I have resolved with all them report reports at me. It's 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 a joke. And it's 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 a blatant disrespect to the Jamaican people them who wants to know who are the criminals? Why are, why are these reports constantly being sent back? Have gag out upon them? Why is it we have this Juliet Oldness woman constantly? I got tell us why I said no, in our gosso, are in our god, and we and we keep here. Yes, please, please respect the first the lady of the prime minister. The Mark first Mark. lady. Remember when she just went there told her she was the first this lady. The wife, the baby father. No, but they, no, Andre, Andre. Hmm. Remember now, they say that she is when it come on to parliament, she's not the wife of the prime minister. She's Juliet Oldness in her own right. So don't cover her that. Oh, hello. Sorry. Let me tell you, That's what people. Nigel said. That's what Nigel when, said. When, and in when, 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 we'll leave her alone. Respect. Marvin, we want to respond to Nigel and Andrew and them. We deal with them, Marvin. Me, me pit bull, Marvin, me pit bull. Run out from them. You know, sir, you know, sir, I tell you, I tell you. No, <laughs> but Marvin, but I got the people them say you must no, talk, Marvin. No, them no, I mean. Fuck, them I mean. I mean <laughs> what a banger and more by ya. Yes, Marvin, the, talk of the, the things there. The Jamaican government has mm. been one of the worst in this country, one of the worst in the Caribbean, one of the worst in the world. And I don't understand how is it that the Jamaican people can still get up and cast their votes. You have people with PhDs, you have people with degrees who go out there sir, and put them under the ink and vote for these common, they are not even say white color criminal anymore. They are common criminals wow. there are evidence to support the criminal network it's a gang and we sit down in a jamaica same way and i allow we tax paying money to appear these people millions of dollars to be taking out food out of the average jamaican people and mouth like the, the the people who own them 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 um the morgues yeah yes. you, you, you have to tell me, sir, you will know I have Christopher Tufta, like you have dirty rice coming out of the country, you have the Minister of Health, no accountability. You have to have a man who tell us, sir, you now get no, you now get no um, water unless you take a vaccine. We have to have the fact that six of we are wanted for illicit enrichment. Illicit. Illicit enrichment. And nobody... Nobody know laid off until investigations are over. But instead, the criminals, the suspects, are going to put gag order for an integrity commission that should be independent in their decision. There's nothing to be tabled about the reports. You know, the reports are final. There's nothing to be tabled or be sent to no committee to look over. And the country, I get up every day, I watch these people show up in parliament in fine suits, I drive around a Piri vehicle with Piri money by gas, I send three them people to school, and they have three square meal per day. And we are comfortable. We are police right now at the out there. Turn up, sir. Hmm? Turn up, sir, in the dark. And now get them pay our nurses. So I am them a them, though. A, a nurse who take taxi girl work because they can't afford a vehicle. And if they do take up a chance to take one vehicle, a straight and to mouth, there's nothing to buy, nothing else after that. Mm? Wow. And we're expecting our fr frontline workers, our teachers are dying. And it's just, it's no frightening, like, oh my God, why do I dead so? Mm? Because nobody wants to blame the big C. Because, of, of course, when it was coming out, we were, we were told, we were told that we're conspiracy theorists. And we couldn't even make mention of any word online because then black it out. Let me tell you something. Yeah, you know, you remember? 
But the thing oh, was man. still in and this is not the first teachers are dying. During the COVID period, there were many who died. It was alarming also. There were many police officers who were dying in the during the COVID. Oh, no, girl, I couldn't forget. We not forget nothing. I don't forget either. We not forget I was one of I was one of the few one one of the the, the, the few healthcare workers who was willing to speak up against it because uh -huh. every, all of the others. But you see, the irony, the situation is that many healthcare workers did not take it. But they just didn't but, speak. But let me ask one question, right, Mango? <laughs> could it could it could it be true that these leaked voice notes of nurses who worked during the COVID period could it could it could it just be a conspiracy that they were actually turning off the oxygen off of people for people dead because maybe we needed to fill up the morgues, the morgues owned by the people who right. just casually decide, who yeah. casually yeah. decided to get a morgue open just one year before COVID. And oh, and of course, wasn't wasn't it the same? Wasn't it the same minister who come and tell us how oh, much, much hundreds and thousands of Jamaicans will die? Can I tell you something, Marvin? I don't know if Andre and Marvin remember in 2007 when Christopher Tufton was it was 2008 when Christopher Tufton was the Minister of Agriculture. We remember. I I remember when he was minister. Well, I remember that part then. You remember what he did? No, no remind me. Come, because it's a long time, and Jamaica forget things after he nine days. Imported, he imported fertilizer made of human feces. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> oh, that. And killed, the, and killed an entire industry that Jamaicans were trying to develop. Um, The banana, remember, we could no longer export banana for a while to Europe because Christoph then didn't tell the farmers that the fertilizer... The fertilizer would no longer get the if you use a fertilizer you wouldn't be considered organic anymore because it's human shit excuse my french my so God. yes he went into business with some <coughs> white guy from america who decided to use hum white um american people human waste to make fertilizer and give it to the jamaican people really huh. you understand <laughs> So <laughs> a true, it was a true thing. So no, I we don't make up things I over here. All the time, you know, I tell people all the time, you see, my short term memory might, might not be good enough, but you see, my long term memory, I don't forget these things. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. Tuscan does not surprise me. What he's doing now doesn't surprise me. Because what at the end of the day, he has always been like this. And he's not the only one. He is but not no. the only but the thing is this nobody no get fired nobody all they get a little slap, slap why on the wrist fire each other but why would you mm -hmm. not fire each other don't you realize that when they come together it's to conduct them criminalities like a criminal organization full of people loosely working together to benefit themselves that's what you know what you know what? Let me just remember as we were talking about the same COVID business and them wicked government people here. Who remember when they put us when them when them finally put a stop to the COVID um um mandate for them about the, the lockdown? Who remember when it finally stopped? When you remember how in a parliament, Andrew Olness basically made made a joke about how much the minister of finance was supposed to pay. You pay a hundred thousand because and they laughed at you. You know. Oh no, oh no, oh no, remember, so, all right, man. Right? Yes. Yeah, because people saw that they were at functions. Eh? Yes. They, they were at functions when, when they break, when they break the same thing where they have police and soldier creep up Jamaicans right across the country, fling in a jeep, beat them, and have them pay up to 300,000 Jamaican dollars because they broke nasty dirty COVID rules. But that when. Them. All the but, kids were arrested, Pitney all stuck, stranded, trying to get home from school. Them go, um, UTEC, I remember UTEC students stranded because uh, of transportation issues. Uh, Let uh, me tell you something. Let me tell uh, you something. This government, during the SOE, when my son was going to heart, and I always tell this story, mm -hmm. had a classmate that lived in a, one of those areas where the SOE was. No, my son is a chef. Andre, you're a chef. Where you go, where you go, heart, where you need to walk with go school. 
your food and lands. No, and your utensils. No, man, your tools. And yeah, your tools, like, them, yeah. When yeah. you are going, they, 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 they had exam, they sat there. And the boy on the way to school with him things, them for him exam, and them scrape him up and lock him up. Yes, you yes. Him ID, him in yes. The we need to revisit COVID era because me, me not ask you know, the because medical it's apartheid, it's medical not apartheid. Just, it's not just mm -hmm. COVID. It was before COVID. It was SOE too, because yes, government. This government cannot function if they, they the are not totalitarian. So they thrive when they can lock us down. The reason why they're falling apart now is because they cannot control us. That's why your prime minister send police go under bed for people who tell him to go suck him, whatever. Yes. Mm. And, totalitarian. And I think I think Isaac Buchanan was the one who was representing that young man from the center. Yes. Who, yes. who didn't go, and, and we need to hear what go with the case because if Isaac if Isaac let go the case, then me personally go find liar to take up it because the police there, the one that will go for them you there. What is yeah, but tell me, no, what you do? Let me tell you this. Down, no, 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 get me in a parliament. Make sure me and Kamala and Andre are going there. Because everyone is in a prison. Whether we're in parliament or not, they are going to prison. Whether we are in parliament, we must demand accountability. No, and we no, must demand. No, you have to be you have to be clear. You have to be fair. You know some are going in a lock up one of them. Me and you know that. No. Come on. If my goal if my I don't know if you are old enough to remember when Portia Simpson Miller sent J. A. G. Smith to prison. For the That's the only politician that ever got prison, Jack Smith. No, the he's only not the only one. I wish one else go. Who else we go? Have go to prison. We have when? we have a in a wish year. Roderick, remember PMP are going next year, sir. And I'm not happy fool. I'm not happy fool. And they have launched the commissioner inquiry. In a day, you should have put up to the city to pull up. They are going to go to the city. Let me tell you something. Some of them going up. Some of them going up prison and it's not one or two. Some of them going to go up prison for the end. Some of them are going to prison. I'm not asking you. Them are going to go. Under which administration? Under which administration? The next one. Independent administration. Me no and the independent the next one, the next one, going to send them to prison because this can't go on. So, so I want to say, you know, Marvin and Kamala, it's coming like a friend and company business in this country. Oh, no man don't fear rent the government at Jamaica building. He's not and the only one. Who else? It's a whole heap of them all over the place. That's just oh, the one that Auditor General has exposed so far. Is that is is quite a lot of them doing it. Norman Dunn is just one person in one just for TAJ. Even today, if you watch Outer Road <laughs> on TikTok, he was exposing another one in Montego Bay where they actually came out of their building and they, that they owned mm. and decided to rent the building of a JLP activist. Oh, yeah. and by the way, in my hey, no, yes, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, yes, I, there's I, a yeah. common practice for the go government on road, go on outer road over TikTok. Outer road, yeah, man. It, yes, yes it, it's it's over there. I saw it since night. Yeah, the guy said he showed the building, yeah, the abandoned, the abandoned building. The building. The As a, yeah, not even, we not even, not Yes, and a pay rent. Pay rent. With pay money. Mm. And you wonder why our teachers cannot get couldn't get the twenty percent they're asking yeah. for. Why you our nurses can't get what they want? Why we don't have why? Bed in the hospital? Why make women work up? One at Moko, Chapelton, Milk River, and all at IES police station only have one police vehicle, one, one source of vehicle to cover our 62 communities, one, one local dirty vehicle. Eh? Oh, no, oh, let me tell you something. You think, on oh, no, another country, I mean, you see, right now, I'm going to open all 63 in the parliament and watch this. And everybody with the person, if you share the live here, yeah. on oh, no, think we don't miss it. 
2024 leap year. What? Mr. What? What? Anytime, Mr. Anytime, I'm see my face. I can't tell you no. I mean, I mean, walk with not even a pin. You no can't touch me until Father God permit that. <laughs> so, anybody that said, they, they will kill you. Me not afraid they of nobody. That that. Yeah. They used to say the same thing to me. Say and if they don't kill Andre and Kamala, they don't kill me. If they don't kill it, they don't kill me. A lot of people believe that. They try to frame me, man. They try to frame me. They try to frame me. <laughs> well, hello. It, you know what is so sad? That we can Andre, find them these... Them do you you bad to Andre. It, it, oh, you mean that they're doing bad? Yeah, they, man, me, Mr. Price said... But, but look at him in bunks. In bunks, but in rapid, in rapid church, in rapid church, I, I walk. See, come back here, then. Marvin, we're to the rapid church. We're to the rapid church. You are, you are, you are in there. I want to have a punish dog. What's your name? Oh, no, no, rapid business. We can't do it. We're going to leave Bobsy and our rapid business alone. Bobsy and our rapid business. I never see much green candle from a barn. I never even know it's a green candle out there. I feel like the green candle, them too. Let me tell you something. Jamaica, put fun, put fun and joke aside. Yes. People need to go to prison for this. Can you hear you calling for, for Juliet Tones to step down and speak up the house? What do you mean? We're not calling for Juliet Tones. No, I am not calling for Juliet to step down. I not do it. I am calling for the entire administration to resign. The entire administration. We Malachi. need an election. We need Malachi. an election Malachi. tomorrow. Malachi. Right. What what has Juliet done that the others have not done that is even more um egregious mm, or heinous? What what, what has she done? Guys, I don't know if you guys heard of her recent doings up in East Rural. Where there's a there is a coffee farmer who has been on the land for almost 40 years. I didn't hear and last week Juliet Holness sent a bulldozer to go scrape off the, the woman's farm. What I don't know, if, yeah, man, to scrape off the woman's farm because she say she go and turn the farm into what is something called? See, there she sent bulldozer, she go and um turn the woman remember say no oh but my god this land, once you're on a piece of property for 12 years or more it's natural acquisition of the land you know juliet always go tell the woman say she want the land the script up. when the woman heard the argument the woman said to miss holness i'm on the land for 40 odd years miss holness said okay let me wait and see what is to be done. By the time the woman looked the next man in Juliet said, the where is something called? The bulldozer. See, Ishmael I call him probably have more panic. Yes, Ishmael. Jesus Christ. This is hard. Yeah, you are one of the correspondents. What you're saying now? <laughs> Yes, um, so in relation to the, the story you were talking about, mm. um, I'm, I'm surprised Kamna didn't hear, hear about it, maybe because, maybe because mainstream media, um, not carrying the story, yeah, you know, um, they aren't as much. We not posted something about it, but mainstream media aren't necessarily carrying it as much as they should. So it, it's about. Apparently, she wants to build a football field or a multi-purpose stadium. But oh there's a coffee farmer that has rights to the land because the coffee farmer apparently has been using the land and paying for it. Mm. Push, what? Which just push her off. Um, oh, my you know, God. One person, you know, is, 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 is a few of them. And coffee isn't the only thing. That Banana, the pandela. Pineapple, the pandela. Um, it's quite a few things on the lot, and the woman send the tractor, the bulldozer down the, the um, it's a PNP area. You know, the one in a corner. It's a PNP area. Um, and I'm not sure if it started, but they were told to vacate as soon as it's possible. PNP area. So, yeah, man. So you, you can watch out for that. And what, why it hurt me personally, because. Um, in that particular space, where you know, in Dallas, 
Yes. yes. Oh, oh my God. God. It's known for coffee farming. Yes. It's known for coffee farming. Most of our of our proper coffee that is exported mm, is from up Dallas. Dallas. Dallas Castle. Of the island. So for her to do that, I think is colossal of her. No, I'm so sorry, she can't be the research. I'm going to get some more information. I, I will link to Ishmael. Ishmael, may I go link to what will happen in the local government election because she she lost she she won the Dallas division. Come and come like I'm back me up on this. She yes. won the Dallas division by by a very few good. votes. Yeah, I mean, it was very slick. Like she was going to lose. And she looked it went to the magisterial recount Ishmael. So I'm it thinking so she's trying to get back at the people. It oh, so you think it's a personal feeling she care yeah. with the people them up at Dallas? The vendetta. That is it's my personal one. view. I don't want nobody come, you know? What up? No, but it's kind of obvious, though. It's kind of obvious. It should do something and, like this, which man. notice again, this is the MO of how this government operates. You see, if they didn't like you one time, and now you have to feel it, brother. Mm. But they did something. All right, Ishmael, thank you for that information. They did something similar. They did something similar when they lost Hanover and West Milan, you know. What they did? Them turn off the people. Them the next very next day, um, notification come out say the people them going lose them water. You forgot? Wow. Them removing pump for them said them removing pump. The people them say but nothing no wrong with the pump. Research it, man. Yes, man. Andre. So, um, some serious. no, but you know, say, I think I really need to pay Juliet wellness a visit. Yeah, you I know, know. Juliet, Andre, and and right, man. Uh, uh, come here, you uh, want you want can we go up there? You know, me go in the office, Panarin. Should we I don't pray that the fear that they had years ago, I don't longer have it for them. I'm ready to take them on because yeah. hello. Truth, in truth and in fact, that is egregious to do something like that. To the, the top in eyes. Eyes. Oi, oi. On the top in eyes. On the top in eyes. On the top in eyes. Yes, ma'am. Because a yes, man and his wife are running the country. The husband first dig down people off a land. On the ground, I couldn't forget. No, I'm to go book no repeat. No, I'm to go book no no send bull no book no coffee people and what you have. I don't forget. I I have outer in zone. And then all the day and then all the day. I'm not lad. Then I tell you the far far out there. I see him place. You know the far far. You are right. Before you're right, and I'm having because before even the Clifton incident out of Vernon Lodge, they they did bulldoze some people out of Innsbruck. You know? Let me take one on. Yeah, Andre. I feel me here and that. We come from. We come from all of. The piece of that for you change. Yes, sir. And oh, by the way, when when leaching there, we never hear say leaching did get the land. Leaching did tell them say, "I'm gonna, go agriculture the land." And then it switched from Jamaica. It switched from agriculture. Yes, the leaching change of the land was the Canadian go. Canadian Canadian he is taking time to disassociate him in pulling back him realize the writing is on the wall leeching is backing away that was the truth that was to me that was the surest sign so they're on their way out because their biggest backer is backing out hello all of them have canadian citizenship all well, of them when, when Jim, all, them. hello and this is a serious this have when me me my yes, spiritual man. My spiritual mind and discernment are tell me. Say, so listen, you see when the barbecues of Jamaica decide to start barbecuing, Black those Black those Black those Black those, those politicians up there, them have dual citizenship, them and their family. And we okay. alone are gonna face the music down here. And no we can't dance. You hear me telling you? Know? You see, you see the goal, you see the goal. You see the goal wanna have C three metal at the go to country. Aye. Mm? And, and 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 when they name there, when they look command and them boots boots to us. You mean if we are kindred? Oh, you mean if we are kindred spirit? Of course. Uno, 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 Jamaica, on the ear the peace of on the ear about the peace, the peace of land that they found. May have a video where when they name the boots to what you know if I'm better or pick near what Robert to what that's what I saw in them. 
uh, him attack, you hear say the piece that they found? Rear earth. Them, him, him say rear. I need to find out that, that video. That is why they're trying Me to get curry on there. That's why they're taking on curry. That is why they're taking on curry. Because the eh? whole of country full of rear earth mineral. Uh, so, in the time where we start, you know. Let me ask you this. Oh. Let me ask you. I have a question for you. <laughs> you no wonder how we had so much earthquake last year. You don't wonder why did Jamaica experience so many earthquakes last year? What and then is here, here for the man, and then a little bit after, all of a sudden you hear, so we have gold. So where is the gold in Clarendon? But Hello, Andre. Bellas Gate, Clarendon. But let me ask you this now. No, that's the a one. That's just one. That's just one area. Does the city have gold? Of course, Haiti have more than gold. I'm not just, I'm uh, okay. not just, I'm not just does, gold. Does Haiti have earthquakes? They are that means. Oh, so uh, are you saying that? Go on Google. Like I want you to ask your, give your students some homework. Mm -hmm. Google how gold is created on plate on fault lines. Go on Google it right now. How gold is created on fault lines. And then you just think back to yourself you now. How many earthquakes did we have last year? And when did they tell us that we have gold? Remember, say two years ago, them start dig for gold too, you know. I said they never find none, you know. So if they never find none, then all them find gold now. After we have earthquake after earthquake after earthquake and after earthquake, and suddenly the earthquake them stop. But I think Jamaica the belt, the, the earthquake belt runs. Same belt. Belt. It's the same fault line that runs from Haiti that runs right, right to Jamaica. Right, I know that Jamaica plant. sits. Mount I know that Jamaica plant. sits on the fault line. Yes, yeah. it's the same fault line. Yeah. I did some yeah. research. I did some so research. You are saying then that there is a causation of the earthquake and the gold? Give me one minute. Give me one minute. minute I don't Andre, me come la go and research. Jamaica, me go tell you no. Yes, whether they leak fault line. I line when I fault, I will tell you this. Gold is a precious, precious, precious earth metal. You hear me tell you? And I will tell you this. You see the people em, who are digging out of the earth, the C3 Metal Company, only did know so with the government of Jamaica is only asking for 5%. Uh, uh, see, see the, the fault line, the fault line. Gold and earthquakes. Gold and earthquakes. Well, that's a fault line. We can't read the next part of God on the hill. Fault lines make gold vein form. The oh. role, the role which earthquakes play in gold production is well known. More specifically, the earthquakes are the events which help to release the gold from deep within the earth. The fault lines which cause earthquakes and contain pressurized water are the actual source of the gold. Fault lines are fractures in the earth's crust which form beneath the surface where major rock formations come into contact. Water can collect inside the fault lines where extremely high pressure builds up from the stress, particularly mm. fault logs. These are tidy sideways cracks which connect the major parts of a fault. When an wow. earthquake hits the sides of the main fault lines, slip along the direction of the fault, rubbing against each other. But mm. the small fault jugs explode open and release mineral rich water, which had been under intense pressure when this water exp this water expands so rapidly yes it is known as a flash flash evaporation mm. microscopic gold particles drop out of the steam and fall on the surface of the fault you mm. hear that jamaica only hear that Something but it makes so it you're, makes you're sense arguing then kamala that you believe that those earthquakes last year possibly were man-made they were yes they were very yes liberate. And there were earthquakes that people felt, and every time they said they felt the earthquake, earthquakes and where well, name are you? We said them don't pick it up because they were targeting specific areas along the fault line. 
Because I remember that every time I saw the earthquake, them said the epic point was in Portland. You remember? And I yes. was wondering, oh, every earthquake come and them and said the epic point they are Portland. <laughs> the epic center yeah. was in Portland. Epic right? center, yeah. And me I say, Google it, yes, my dear. Somebody said they will be the article. Let me you know, for articles. This is just one article. I did a video, on, but I will go further. I did a video with, about it on TikTok. TikTok banned my video. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> whenever I talk about gold, whenever I talk about rare earth, I mean, I was when I, whenever I talk about the situation in Haiti, my videos are shadow banned. Mm. But, but hold on, but on, on a serious note, for those who remember the tremors that we had, them said tremors, earthquake, you know that the, the three or four of them were literally in close proximity in terms of time. Yeah, because it was over, them, yeah, it was over like a, a month in terms of yeah. earthquake. You see, when I, you, you view as Mark, you say America have earthquake machine, yeah. HR, H, what them call it again? I'm going to tell you what I'm call it. H R P. Her. Somebody must remember the machine. It still starts with H. Well, let me say this one, one call. It's called call. a calling a long time. Hello, good night. Dre. Turn off the thing in the background and I hear that all the time, man. No, Dre. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn it off. Yes. It off. Mm -hmm. What do you think now, Carla? She is absolutely correct. She is. I, I have a, a geology class now. I'm finishing up my master's. We're studying sedimentary. We have a sedimentary rocks lab. Yes. We have a metamorphic rocks lab. We study this. This fault line. There's fault lines all across the world. They they um they run. If you look it up on a map, they run very specific along the west coast of the United States all the way down to South America. Mm -hmm. And that fault line runs through the Caribbean. She's absolutely correct. And that correlation that she's making about the earthquakes that took place recently in Haiti. Remember, they had a devastating earthquake not too long ago. And prior to that, they also had an earthquake. This correlation is taking this conversation up to a level that i i wonder if people are really paying attention to what this lady is saying she is absolutely correct not only that mm -hmm. no we have to keep in mind you know think about and i'm gonna I, this is gonna sound but just bear with me right keep in mind when when these people make movies in hollywood right no one is gonna spend millions and millions and millions of dollars to make movies just to entertain us there's 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 things they tell us in the movies that end end up materializing yes later, yes right remember that movie um <laughs> what's the movie uh the, the movie what they did the other day Wrong. with obama what's the name what's the name of the movie where we watch with the black youth when, when um he becomes like some superpower or something it's a popular movie. Black Panther. Black Panther. Yes. Black mm. Panther. Look at what they're trying to tell us in Black Panther. Them yes. they're they're trying trying I want to say now Black Panther again. Uranium. Mm. Uranium. Vibranium. That there's a there's a super metal. There's a metal Vibranium. that transcends all the other metals on the earth, right? Mm. And that is the metal that even at the highest echelon of government and politics, those people meet on a different level. And the, 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 the topic of the conversation is who's going to control this vibranium. I would urge people to watch that movie again, that last, that last yeah. series that they did on what they're talking about with the vibranium and keep in mind yes at the end of the movie where did that girl the, the character that lupita Nyong'o end up where did she end up searching for the vibranium mexico no haiti no haiti 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 and i do believe that that they, that that's why you have all these people digging down there. That's why they allegedly the the prime minister have all these um trucks and they're going to start these why they destabilized now. Haiti. Yes, that's why they destabilized Haiti. That in um in 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 uh the same movie they touched upon that the is also found in certain parts of the ocean. 
Yeah, because they're going to start deep sea mining in Jamaica now. And I find yes. it all coincidental. All of a sudden, yes. they're going to mine this sea. You know, the, hey, there are people who are wicked in the I know wicked. Yes. And I believe they also know there's a significant deposit or they suspect that there's a deposit yes. in cockpit country. That's why there's this... Yeah, one well, only part thing is they're at war with country. curry. That's why they are yes. at war that's with curry. That's, that's why Andrew Puffin and Puffin are trying to get him off of the land. You are touching upon a level right now that is... is Somebody just outside like, to me to give me something just to call it. Yeah, of course. This, is, this conversation, I want Jamaica to understand you. what is taking place tonight. And to listen and learn and go research. Don't just take what she yes. said at face value. Go research exactly what she said and connect the dots. Those <sighs> politicians down there only see Jamaica now as a giant piggyback to suck all the resources out of it. And when they're done, they go and they move overseas. Yes. They move to Miramar but you know, and Florida. But you know, you know, the Carla, in the, in the outside of the country. You are but so right, Carla. Jamaica as a viable place. One more thing I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. These deaths in Jamaica is by design. Yes. yes. There's, there's no way you're going to have a, a country as it, a people. I think people don't understand just how wealthy Jamaica is now, in terms of resources, in terms of tourism alone. Yes. Mm. You understand? And you're gonna tell me a hundred and something kids are missing a day. All these murders, all these deaths. What they're slowly doing, they're building upon the perimeter of the country, and slowly but surely they're moving inland, and they're going to squeeze those yes. people in the middle of the country till they can take it over. And one of the short fire ways. Kind of like what they're doing in Haiti. Mm. Kind of like violence, what they're doing in Haiti. All these deaths, all these killings. They, mm. it's, it's by design to get the real people out of that country so that. Gentrification. I think we have to follow up on the story tomorrow night. For real, but all right. Much love to you, Andre. Look a more big up to your to your panel. You guys. All right, my boy. No, no, no. God bless you. Bless you. Mm. Yeah, my she's quite right. right. Mm. I think we have to follow up on this discussion tomorrow night. Time is upon us, but we're leading something. Now we're going somewhere with this discussion. But join me back tomorrow at 8 p.m. You know, the resident ISAT will be here and I will see if these two beloved can come back and join the discussion. And I'll see if I can carry an Ishmael too. So we can have a big town hall meeting and have a big discussion. All right? So tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Jamaica, I'll try my very best to do and I will ask the people to be here so that we can do this show. All right. So God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Take care. Blessings.